this is Living Dead Gal, and welcome back to another Sims 4 video. Welcome to the channel if you are new. Today is episode 4 of the Whimsy Stories Legacy Challenge. Um, I know we're at the fourth episode, but we really haven't made much progress on our home. Um, we are here with our little homeless Sim, Riley. Um, she had a pretty rough time last episode. She is really not doing well. Um, she's actually pretty sick right now, so I might try to get her to go uh, to the doctor um, once she wakes up. But basically, uh, we had a lot of bad luck last episode. Our tent got struck by lightning at the very beginning, so all of our efforts to make money ended up going towards trying to be able to replace the tent. Um, and I did end up having to sell the one piece that I was keeping for her house um, in order to be able to get her a tent because the weather has just been rainy and horrible. So um, things have not been going super great, but we did have our first kiss with Jack, who uh, we met him in the very first episode. This is a sim I created for her, and they're in the lovebirds phase. So once they reach soulmate status, I can build her some walls and a roof, you guys. Um, so I actually think that what we're gonna do this episode is spend a little bit more time with Jack. Um, and if they can reach soulmates or if they're like getting close to that and things are still going great like they were in the last episode with them, there was a lot of autonomous talking and flirting. Um, and so if that is continuing, I think what we'll do is we will ask Jack to move in because right now he has an empty lot as well. It's just a patch of dirt. Um, and I think, you know, it might seem like it's moving really fast, but I think in this situation when they're both homeless, it would kind of make sense um, that she would let him at least like kind of stay here on her lot. She's really in like a pretty decent mood considering but she is contagious, so I really do want to get her to the doctor. And since I had to get rid of that beautiful table, um, I might as well spend the money to get her to the doctor because we still can't build anything for her yet. Um, so. Okay, I'm gonna get her home services set up. Let's see, power, water, and garbage. Basic cable, cell phone, and basic internet. Okay, so we're gonna probably need to do the full. She's not really a premium girl. She's not going to need premium internet and cable. So let's do the full package. Okay. So that is now set up. So I can use my phone over on this lot at least, which is good. Okay. I'm going to have her go to the doctor. Uh, we cannot afford a private hospital. So we're going to have to go to a public hospital. <laughs> and I'm going to have to hope that this will help. All right. Go to the doctor. Yeah, hopefully this will work. Oh! <gasps> Jack's asking us on a date and we're at the doctor's. Um... Uh, okay, I'm gonna have to say no and then invite him back um, because I don't want to like lose my money at the doctor's. There's nothing wrong with her. Don't hesitate to call us if you actually feel depressed though. Oh, maybe I sent her to the wrong kind of doctor. Well, crap, and they took a lot of my money. Oh, that didn't help. She's got stumpy flu. Okay, I'm gonna have her get some medicine and then we're just gonna invite Jack over here. I'm just gonna tell him, look, we are not feeling super great. Um, you're welcome to come over. I don't wanna get you sick. Okay, hopefully that helps. And let's invite Jack over. Oh, oh, that's cute. <laughs> they have nothing and they're both homeless, but they're just slow dancing and enjoying the scenery. How adorable. How adorable is that? <laughs> okay, I am like sold on the two of them being soulmates. I know they do that a lot autonomously, but like that's just so cute. Oh, so they're just warming up by the fire. Oh, <laughs> she's super flirty. 
<laughs> Alright, we're gonna see if he'll stargaze with us. Of course it's like raining and ruining their cute little romance, but you know what? <laughs> That's kind of how it's supposed to be. I mean, they're kind of supposed to have a rough start. The whole point of the Whimsy Stories Challenge for Generation 1 is that you find love while you're homeless, and you might have nothing, but you at least have each other. And I think that's pretty cute. <laughs> yeah, so they're definitely starting to feel um, pretty strongly about one another. And uh, they spend a lot of their time outside in the rain together. This might seem a little bit soon, but I think given their situation and the fact that they're both homeless, they're lovebirds right now. Um, they still have a while like more to build up their romance, but I think that she would just ask him to stay here with her. Um, so I am going to ask him to join the household simply because right now with like the rain and the situation, um, I don't want him to like get struck by lightning or anything. Oh, she's just autonomously flirted with him. I mean, they really like each other. <laughs> he said yes. Okay, great. So, again, I know this is fast. Um, I'm gonna get rid of... Oh, wait, crap. Uh, I need to get rid of that money. What did I have? Like, $652. So I will fix that um, because we're, we wouldn't realistically have that kind of money. And I feel like that's a, that's a bit of a cheat because he's supposed to be homeless too. Um, so I will fix that real quick. Okay, so yeah, all they have in the whole world is still the 652 simoleons. I'm not going to just like completely and totally end the struggle and take that 20,000 from his lot um, because he's supposed to be homeless too. So he's not supposed to be bringing in any money. So uh, finally, he's here so I can make sure that I can like feed both of them and take care of both of them um, and slowly kind of work on building their relationship. Um, they're supposed to build their home together as they're in love. So um I want to get them to soulmates before we can get the house built, but I will try to like mostly control Riley until we get them to soulmates. Aww. They're really cute. Oh, they just became best friends. <laughs> oh, oh, oh no, Riley. Oh, this poor girl. Okay, let me real quick. I'm gonna get another bench so that Jack has somewhere to sit. Okay, they should both be able to sit here now. Both of you sit down and let's have cute moments here. Okay, let's light the fire. What do you mean? Go here and then light the fire, please. <laughs> what do you mean? <gasps> she wants to have her first woohoo. Okay. I'm gonna see if they'll do it autonomously. I'm gonna give them some romance stuff. Okay, for some reason she just perceives him as attractive now, when as before it was very attractive. So I'm not sure what happened there. But now they're best friends and they're lovebirds and they're both feeling deeply connected. Um, and she wants to have her first woohoo with him. And she wants to make out with Jack. Okay, I don't know why I can no longer roast fish when I was able to do that perfectly fine before. That makes me really mad. <laughs> okay. Okay, something is going on with my campfire, so I'm trying to fix it so that we can... I don't know why I can no longer roast anything. I don't know if it's because I'm... I don't know why it's just... it's not working. And it's making me so mad because I was able to roast fish before. And now I can't. Um, so I might have to buy them a grill. Um... But I'm gonna let her go to sleep. <laughs> Cause she is dead tired. And then Jack, let's see, how are you doing? Um, he wants to be energized. Okay, I wonder if he can, yeah, I don't know why. I had the option to roast stuff and now it's just completely gone. And it's driving me nuts and I just blew money trying to fix it. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna just get them a grill. Okay, I feel like this is so wasteful, but I just had to spend like almost all of our money on a grill because suddenly my campfire is not working, but I don't want to get rid of the campfire because they need that for warmth. So Jack's going to grill. <laughs> 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 
really? I can't grill the fish? Are you kidding? So this is really stupid. Because I have the simple living lot trade on, she can't roast food on the fire for whatever reason. Even though she has the fish in her inventory and she uses that, she can't roast it. So I just went through a whole thing. I lost a bunch of money trying to get them a campfire and then buy them a grill and then I had to sell the grill. So we've lost a bunch of money on that. I'm not, I'm going to leave it because that's just how this challenge is. But um, I had to take the simple living lot challenge off for now because the basic survival stuff I'm not able to do, which is stupid. So um, I will put that back when they actually have a house. But for now, I took it off because I'm mad that she can't cook the fish that she got. So I'm going to have her roast her fish. And I gave him one of the fish that she caught. I'm going to have him roast a fish as well. All right. That way they both have something to eat. Yeah, see, now it's gone from the inventory. So it makes no sense that the simple living lot trait would break that. But apparently with the simple living lot trait on, I cannot have them actually roast the fish on the fire. That roasting option is gone, which is really silly. Um, but okay, overall, Jack is like really, really happy. Um, which is good because we kind of get our insight. Let's see what he thinks of our girl, Riley. Okay, he perceives her as very attractive. They've actually, they're in the lover stage now, so they're past lovebirds. Um, okay, that's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> they're just cooking fish to eat at 3.30 in the morning. They have nothing in the world, but they have each other. Um, <laughs> Riley, you're ruining this moment. <laughs> Come on, eat your fish. <laughs> so yeah, they have nothing in the world but each other. And uh, it's cute. I don't know how to like treat her condition. Maybe I need to do it through slice of life. Health. Oh, okay, so I have to have her visit the hospital this way. So I definitely had her visit the wrong hospital. So I have to t take her to the hospital after this and see if they can give her some allergy meds. I am just like blowing my money. Please don't be yell- What happened to your food? What happened to your food? I am like, okay. Something just glitched and she lost her food and he lost his food. <sighs> okay, he still has some fish here. No, okay, it's spoiled. Great, freaking great. So mad. Okay, so we just lost her fish for no reason. Just a glitch. Great, 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 great. Okay, yeah, why don't you grab some Choco Flakes? We're just losing money. We're like bleeding money. But I'm not gonna fix it because that's kind of real life that happens you make mistakes and you lose money so um if you're sitting there watching and screaming at me <laughs> that i'm doing things wrong i know i've messed up i've lost this a bunch of money but it's okay um that happens in real life so we we will we will persevere <laughs> um i'm gonna have her eat that and then she really does want to woohoo with jack so i'm gonna have her go ahead and do that um, hopefully she doesn't get pregnant because they have no protection. Um, but we're going to risk it because <laughs> again, I want it to be realistic. They are homeless <laughs> and pretty much penniless. So, <laughs> so they are going to have their first woohoo in the tent. Um, that's an upgrade I think from the dumpster. Uh, I'm surprised that Riley's first woohoo isn't in the dumpster. Break out the candles, make it romantic. They're woohooing for the first time. <laughs> and we've got like the little like campy woohoo music. So it's both of their first time <laughs> in a tent. Riley's pretty tired, um, but hopefully they'll get some rest after this. She's very happy from her new best friend. Oh my gosh, look at all these moodlets she has going on. Fresh and frisky, okay same wavelength from feeling close to someone nearby well that's cute no protection was used <laughs> okay guys uh riley why don't you go to sleep and jack you're pretty much okay but why don't you go ahead and go to sleep too we'll just 
get some rest. Okay, guys. So, after that, after their first woohoo, um, but it was the first woohoo for both of them and their first, woo first woohoo together in the tent, they are now soulmates. So, that means we can start building a structure. Um, so, I have like no money, so let me actually see what I can get for them. Okay, so I went into build mode and all I can get is a wall. So, <laughs> we're gonna hold off on that for a little bit and I'm gonna see if I can start making some money with them. But they're now soulmates, so I am probably gonna do a little bit of gameplay with Jack as well. Let's go ahead and harvest some of this stuff. Um, he'll just kind of help Riley out with her garden a little bit. Okay, he likes gardening. Sure, he can like gardening. Thinking that he'll do like a lot of woodworking and stuff. Um, I'm thinking they'll kind of like maintain the garden together. What does he want to do? Be friendly with Riley. Blog about gardening tips and hug someone. Okay. So we've harvested this. So let's see. Okay, so we have some grapes, we have some quill fruit. Let's go ahead and sell the quill fruit and that'll give us some money. Let's also sell some of these grapes. Okay, let's see, how did it go? First woohoo, first time under the covers with the new sim is always a memorable experience. First kiss, woohooed in the wild. Um, so yeah, he's very happy too. I think they're definitely like in love, you guys. Um, this worked out really well. I really didn't expect for them to um, fall in love so quickly because in episode two, it was it was a little bit slow going, but um, after their little dinner date, things just seemed to uh, take a turn down the love, the love route. And then I probably should go ahead and get them some protection um, because no protection was used last time and we could very well end up in a situation <laughs> It always cracks me up how the sims yell at me, like that they're hungry when I'm having them cook. I'm like, yes, please eat your food. <laughs> okay guys, so we have to hustle. We've reached love status, like soulmate status. We can build a house. I want to hustle. I want to get some money so that we can build a house so that in the next episode I can get them into a structure of some kind. Alright, I'm gonna put Riley to sleep for a little bit because she's still really tired. And then I'm gonna have Jack go get protection, I think. Um, because they have some money now and, uh, I think that's going to end up being important. So we're going to have him go to the wonderful store and get some protection because they did have a, you know, heat of the home moment kind of a heat of the moment kind of woohoo. And, um, yeah, they should probably be careful. So we're going to get some condoms. I'm going to have him pick up. Riley is going to need tampons and pads eventually, so I'm going to have him pick those up for her too. So yeah, I mean, they had sort of a heat of the moment, like first woohoo unprotected, but they know that they really don't have the means to support a child right now. So hopefully she is not pregnant. I don't see any signs that she would be. Um, so <laughs> we just need to make sure that they are careful um, going forward. He is feeling a little bit sad because he's got the gloomy trait. That's his like um, more negative trait. Not that I think like if you're gloomy, you're it's it's a bad thing. Um, it's just that it's one of his traits that doesn't always benefit him and that kind of causes issues for him. So he's feeling a little bit sad, but most of that is covered up by like some of the happier emotions. And he keeps wanting to be friendly with Riley, which is cute. So I just need to have Riley like get a little less sleepy. And then we can take them both to the makerspace. And I'm thinking maybe I'll have him do like some woodworking for money. Um, let me see what his aspiration is actually. Okay, so he wants to be an eco innovator. So have five community influence points and vote on one neighborhood action plan. Wonder if he can actually vote on a neighborhood action plan. Okay, let's go ahead and do that real quick. He's gonna vote on the clean energy production because um, he's a very like eco-friendly person okay so he wants to become a civil designer so he needs to join the civil designer career through the find a job interaction on the phone and he needs to sell power or water on a utility bill okay 
So Jack is actually, based on his aspiration, he will actually be going and getting a job. Um, I'm gonna wait on that until the next episode, until we start building a house, and then maybe he'll get a job. Just because um, I still kind of want to do the rags to riches, like building them up from the uh, homeless situation. So after they like start selling some things, I will work more on his aspiration and have him join that career um, and have like a little more stability and income coming in. But we're going to wait on that for just a bit. So Riley is still a little bit sleepy and a little bit stinky, but we really need to get on this um, freelancer stuff and like her fabrication and skills. So we're going to go to the makerspace. Jack's going to do some woodworking and Riley is going to hopefully get another gig. Jack, why don't you come over here and scrap this woodwork and we're going to get you started on woodworking. Riley, that's going to be something Riley does a lot of too, but um, I think for now when they're just kind of getting started, um, Jack would definitely be into that as well. Okay. And Riley is recycling. She's got to recycle two more times. So we can cut a rug. So let's do that. Okay. Jack is Mr. Popular over here. Just like chatting up everyone while he makes this knife block. So we'll let him keep doing that uh, while we are over here chatting with our clients. Please just, no, both of you go away. I need to talk with my client. I need you to go away. All right, so we chatted with our client. Let's go ahead and fabricate this rug. And hopefully that'll get us another like 200 bucks. So as far as her skills go, we need to max out fabrication handiness and wellness. So another thing I want to do is get her a yoga mat and then she could even host some classes that she could charge for once she gets good at it. Um, just right now we don't have a whole lot <laughs> as far as money goes. Dashing. This is exactly what we're looking for. Keep up the great work, Riley. Okay. Cool. Okay. Um, so let's see. Let's go ahead and see if we can get a second gig. She's gonna hate this too because she's a technophobe. No, 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 go away. Okay. I don't know why, whenever she comes over here to look for stuff, people keep talking to her. Um, okay. Might have to learn her, have her learn how to brew some beer, but let's do this rug a dub dub. Jack, sorry, buddy. I know you want to talk with Riley, but why don't you, why don't you make a garden planner for Riley? Why don't you go do that? Okay, she's like falling asleep, but I really need her to make this rug because we need this last little bit of money. <laughs> We're slowly climbing up. I really need to get her fabrication skill a lot higher. Okay, Jack is like on it with this woodwork. So Jack, why don't you, why don't you go ahead and do a garden pot? Gosh, Jack's already at handiness level three. Okay, Riley, finish the fabrication. You sent the finished work to the client. Yeah, I don't know why that's like busted, so I have to check it every time manually. Okay, so we have both rugs. So I don't think there's any other gigs that are really gonna work in this situation. Um, I really need her to do more to make some more money. Let's maybe see if we can make this table light and then sell it. Every time I've had her make stuff on her own that's not part of a gig, she usually has an issue and gets eaten by the machine. So hopefully she can make this light and then we can sell that. Jack is like doing real good over here. He's getting kind of hungry. He's meeting a lot of people. Okay, he likes Knox. Riley finished up her fabrication. She's about to go chat with Jack, probably tell him she's ready to go home. How much longer until you're done with this? He's making her a little garden pot. They're both pretty hungry. I'm gonna have them both go home and just like get something out of the cooler. All right, come on, let's get something good. One dollar, no, one bit. Darn it, okay, let's go home. 
<sighs> I really need money because I really want to build them a house next episode. <laughs> I think that I might <laughs> leave us off here with them walking home. Um, again, I still didn't make like a lot of progress as far as, um, you know, <laughs> what's happening with uh, her skills and everything. But I think now that we have found love with Jack, um, even though he's running way far ahead of us. Um, now that we've kind of got love with him, I kind of think that we can really, really do some more grinding in the next episode. And by the end of the next episode, I'm really hoping that I can actually like get their tiny house started um, and kind of get moving with that. So. Um, I think I am gonna go ahead and leave it off here just because I've been recording for a little bit um, and we're having some bad luck if you can look at the state of Riley. So I'm gonna leave this one off here and then in the next episode uh, we are 100% going to have enough money to get a house built up. I have $888. I'm thinking maybe I can sell some of the stuff that I currently have on the lot and um, go ahead and get a structure in place for them. No, she's passing out before we can even get into the loading screen. <laughs> We're at our lot, <laughs> but she's not even home. So yeah, I think that's a sign. <laughs> okay, so I think that's a sign since we didn't even get home that it's definitely time to uh, end the episode off here. Um, but <laughs> Thank you guys so, so much for watching. In the next episode, I promise we will get some kind of a structure up for them and start decorating. We will get moving even more on her skills, um, but we've kind of taken care of the romance stuff. Her and Jack are doing really well. They're best friends, they're soulmates. So she has officially found love um, while homeless. So we have completed that goal of the challenge. Um, so in the next episode, we will kind of move forward with their lives and kind of get them settled and then probably also get Jack enrolled in the career that he would like to be in. Um, but that said, thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode and you would like to see more content like this, please give me a thumbs up. Please leave a comment down below letting me know um, and subscribe to my channel to see more Sims 4 Let's Plays, cast videos, and CC reviews. Um, thank you all so, so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Yeah, I know that